All right, probably the dopest thing about ancient forests like this here is how literally ancient they are. So let's rewind time back to the mid Paleozoic era around 300 million years ago to the Carboniferous period. We've got big old Dimetrodons lumbering about and the first vascular plants were evolving, which then diversified through the Mesozoic era to form landscapes that were mostly dominated by gymnosperms like conifer trees here because angiosperms or flowering plants hadn't evolved yet. Those didn't evolve until the Cretaceous period, which is when you have, you know, Tyrannosaurs and Triceratopses famously battling it out right before the asteroid came down to cause the big KPG mass extinction event, which wiped most of those dinosaurs off the face of the earth, with the exception of some small theropods, which have since evolved into birds. But that is a whole other story. So basically, asteroid comes down and it wipes most of the slate on earth relatively clean. So angiosperms are a little bit more adaptable than gymnosperms. They're better at energy conservation. They create fruit, which entices more effective spread of their seeds versus wind dispersal. And they're generally able to colonize areas of disturbance much easier. So they kind of end up taking over most of the world at this time, especially around equatorial areas. And then through subsequent extinction events, tectonic plates moving about with continental drift and climatic fluctuations, which create ice ages, which push populations of trees to different parts of the world that have since expanded out again, following the recession of those last ice sheets about 12,000 years ago. We're now left with these little isolated pockets of coniferous dominated forests in places like Russia, Japan, New Zealand, here in Cascadia along the coast of Turtle Island, and up in the Boreal Forest which encircles the Arctic where you know, certain terrain and temperature or Arctic growing conditions allow gymnosperms to survive better than many angiosperms. Now, of course, populations were divided and have since evolved into many differing species over that time. But for the most part, these types of conifer dominated forest ecosystems are structurally quite similar to those same ecosystems that dinosaurs were roaming around in, which is pretty nuts. And you can almost imagine dinosaurs still lumbering about in forests like these. And it's kind of wild to stop and think about how the burning of the remnants of those ancient Carboniferous forest ecosystems as coal or the mass deposition of marine life during those millions of years as oil in order to power our modern world has resulted in rapid anthropogenic climate change that seriously threatens these forests ability to continue to adapt and survive. And then on top of that, we're still cutting them down with no regards for their resilience or ecological complexity for something as simple as wiping our butts, which is a pretty crappy way to go, pun intended. I think if it were me, I would have preferred the asteroid.